Afternoon, Simon. Thanks for joining us, mate. Um, I know we're pretty busy getting set up for our first official training session this afternoon back at Tigerland, so I appreciate you taking time now to come on side with me for a second, just answer a few questions. Mate, firstly, what are you hoping to see from the grades and the people that are committing to pre-season? Uh, it's a good one. Uh, we, uh, we started off at PLC just over the weekend on, uh, on Saturday. Uh, thanks very much to them. We had around about 20, 25 numbers on our first visit down there. Um, and it was great to see the boys putting, getting put through the paces. Uh, in regards to these uh, Tuesday and Thursday sessions, moving forward, a uh, bit of commitment, um, discipline, a good attitude. Um, it's, got to be a, it's got to be a busy period throughout August with, uh, with plenty, of, plenty of trial games. We have, uh, we have an intra-club intra squad game on the 15th of August. Uh, we welcome Palm Beach on the 22nd for a T20. And then we, we welcome Mudrubah Narang on the 20, uh, 29th. So it's a, it's a busy period. Um, there's plenty, plenty of time for the boys to, to put the best foot forward. And uh, I, I look forward to seeing the progress. Excellent, sir. So it sounds like definitely a very busy uh, pre-season schedule there, Simo. What are the strengths of the grades looking like this season? How's the recruitment been during the off-season? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's been a busy one, uh, both myself and, uh, and Nick. Uh, we wanted to make sure um, that we, that we, that we, we look, to, look to bring quality to the club. Um, not only, not only looking, looking for first grade cricketers, and I think, I think the strength and depth for the twos and the threes is, is, is really important in, uh, in amateur cricket. So yeah, we, we've, had a, uh, we've had a number of, a number of recruits uh, come along and join, join us, and it was great to see them last Saturday at PLC and, and, hit, and here on in moving forward. So now we're, we're looking forward to it. Um, there's some quality quality players in and around uh, the group looking to, looking to join Southport Labrador. Perfect. And mate, obviously the season ended quite abruptly for us last year. Um, things outside of our control and we, we finished as a club in a very strong position. What are you planning to achieve or what are you wanting to see out of the club as a whole this year come that pointy end of the season? Yeah, that's that's the best question yet. Um, this is this will be my third year of uh, of club coach uh, down here at the Tigers. Uh, the last couple of years, both the first grade and the second grade have uh, have made finals. Um, first year round, we we never managed to get over the line uh, with Alberton Alberton beating us. Um, and then last year, you know, although we had a, a very strong strong season, we was uh, we was coming up against uh, Mudrabah Naran, which are, are a very a very strong outfit, um, and yeah, I mean, this season round, I think it's I think it's really important not not only for myself, for the club, and, and for Nick that we we go on and look to secure some silverware, um, whether that be first grade, second grade, third grade. Uh, third grade was was good enough and well enough last year to make the final. So it's I talk about in the recruitment process. You know, I call the Tigers one of the powerhouses of Gold Coast cricket, and and I think it's it's really important that. You know, there comes a comes a time that we deliver, and I'm, I'm really hopeful with a with a solid pre-season and a, a good start to the T20s throughout September that that will be somewhere near and, and, and somewhere nearabouts. Excellent, mate. Well, uh, thanks for your time this afternoon. Cheers, and, mate. Uh, mate, I'm sure we'll get into training. So, um, yeah, see you soon. Good stuff. Cheers. Hi, Nick. Thanks for letting me pull you out of training, mate. Mid session. Just quickly, wanted to ask you, based around your first eleven this year where you see the side um, and your expectations this summer? Uh, throughout the summer, obviously, we, uh, we kick off this season with T20s. Um, we've been there and thereabouts the last couple of seasons with that, so ideally we'd like to kickstart our season with a, a win in that tournament. Um, then moving into the season, um, you know, top four finish, uh, ideally top two to get that home final and give ourselves the best chance to, to take out the competition, which I think we can.